goes through there. Now I'd like to really just copy this cut onto this face by selecting this feature and control C to copy. I can use something called paste special and of course that's edit paste special but I have the icon here to use and what I want to do is I want to make a copy that's dependent on dimensions of the original but also I want to apply advanced reference definition at the same time so instead of using that plane I'll use this plane and that one will be the same instead of using that plane let's use this plane and that one will also be the same. Call that done. Now we just have to uh, adjust the arrows. So I used to be looking at this plane that way. Now I'm going to look at this plane that way. That's fine. I used to look at this plane up, and now I'm going to look at that plane up. That's also OK. And there it is. Now these two um, extruded cuts are indeed identical. Let's turn off the datum planes. Let's take a look at something. If I change the 75 to maybe 80 degrees, you'll see how they both change. And if I pick, double-click this one and change this to, a, say, 85 degrees, you'll see the first one changes as well. They actually share a sketch. Kind of an interesting um, little thing that you have to notice there. Um, the, there is a downside to this, though. If uh, you decide to redefine one or the other, it will ask you if you'd like to unlink them. And unless you unlink them, you won't be able to delete any of the entities. It'll say you just can't. All right. Let's add something a little bit more to make this interesting. Um, perhaps we'll put a chamfer. We'll use the chamfer tool here. And I'll, I'll, I can pick one edge put a chamfer on it. Hold the control key down, I can pick a second edge. And if I pick the first edge again, it's unselected. Pretty straightforward stuff. But what happens if I right click? You'll notice that it went from single edge to automatically intent edge. And that picks all the edges that were created by that feature. So if I hold the control key down, come over here, and that's single edge, right click, I get the second intent edge, and so now I have two references references selected, but uh, you know some what is it uh, some sixteen edges ultimately picked makes it pretty easy to get it done. All right, so one more thing I want to do before we go, and that is uh, put a little color to it. Let's uh, just pick one of these colors here. I, I chose this pick, this color, applied it to the part, call it done. Okay, good. I'll save that. Next we'll do, uh, close this window, we'll make a new part, and we'll call this one shuttle. Now the shuttle, turn on the data planes, the shuttle um, is going to fit into those slots. So let's make a protrusion that goes on both sides of this plane that I selected. The references are fine. Go straight to the sketch view. Oh, here it is. Um, and let's uh, drop in a center line. And let's put in a line that uh, goes like that. I'll do only half of it. Grab it all mirror around the center line and then add a dimensioning scheme that makes sense. Actually it's doing pretty good already for me. I just want to put in this angle and uh, this overall height. That should do very nicely for me. Okay, so we notice that these numbers are really really big right now. Now I want this one to be about what? One? Uh, three quarters. I forget exactly what it was. I think it was I think it was one inch. But we want to be one, not 400. If I modify this from 400 down to one, this sketch is going to turn inside out. So that you've probably run across this before where you want to change all of them at the same time. Well, watch this. Pick them all, use the modify, 
and I want this 400 here, this one here, I want that to be 1. So if I choose what's called lock scale, I can change that one to 1, and it'll apply that ratio to all the others at the very same time. Pretty neat. Okay, so let's change this maybe to a half inch. Let's change this one maybe to 85. Uh, I think is uh, about what it is we're looking for. Let's maybe make this one 0.95. Good. The depth is going to be about one inch. Probably change these up a little bit later. Right click. Let's go to edit. Let's modify this to say one and a half. Control G. Okay. I wanted this to be a symmetrical protrusion, so I'll select the feature, right click, edit definition, and change from one-sided to symmetrical. Pretty straightforward. Now, I want there to be a pin sticking out of the top of this shuttle, so I'll make a protrusion. Placement is going to be off the top face with, uh, let's use this as the reference. You see how it's here, check this out. You see, I picked the face surface of feature 5, and because I picked the face, it, it thinks the reference ought to be the end. That's the current yellow or highlighted collector. If I choose this instead, it will be the right plane. When I go to the sketch plane, then, it also will choose that as the reference. And you'll see it's got the center, uh, center datum plane as well, which is perfect for me. So let's go to the sketching plane. Straight away, right click, hold down, ask for a circle, drag it out, right click, double click here, let's make this 0.5. Um, we're done with the sketch. How tall do I want it to be? I don't know. Let's put it about there. That's fine. Middle mouse. So I'll go Control D to put it back to the default view. And this uh, could be the shuttle. So let's give this a color as well. So view colored appearance let's make it this uh, this gold color that ought to be fine whoa I don't know about these colors gonna have to do a lesson on colors that's clear because these are definitely funny looking uh, that blue one might be good for now let's uh, let's let that go save this part and uh, close the window so the next thing we're going to need, we've got a base, we've got a shuttle, we'll be using two of those, and all we need is the lever. So let's uh, make a new part. Lever. And this one's going to be a real straightforward part, just a plate with a couple of holes in it. So looking at it from the top plane, let's add a protrusion, go to the placement definition, middle mouse button. Let's look at it straight away. I'm going to have a circle for the end of the plate and a circle for the other end of the plate. I'll right click for a rectangle and starting here drag it out to here and then using my squiggle trim I'll just click and drag right around that racetrack. Whoa! Did that ever happen to you? It's missing a part. Control Z. Okay so why did that happen and how do I keep that from happening? Pick here delete this piece and then do the squiggle trim. Let's try that. Kind of a pain, but there you go. Let's make this uh, 8 inches long with a diameter of say... That's a half inch radius. That's fine. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add a couple of circles here as well. These will be the uh, the shuttle locations. I don't typically make a protrusion with holes in it, but uh, in this case we'll make an exception, and it certainly will work fine. Let's make this a nice even 0.13, so it's just a little, little bit of a plate. Control D for the default view, and uh, that could be our part. So I'm going to turn off.